Yo, all right, so we are going to winterize the uh, FCR. <clears throat> and basically, uh, it's really simple. You pull these out, the cover comes off, and then um, you'll pull the coil packs off and pull the spark plugs out, and then squirt a little fogging oil down in there. It's a good time to go ahead and change your spark plugs. If you come right back here, this guy right here, uh, when you bought the machine, it should have like a little uh, nipple coupler thing and you hook that up to a pump and you just transfer um, some marine antifreeze. You can get at Walmart or where, wherever, it's usually like two bucks. And you're just gonna flush the system out until you see pink stuff coming out the back. And then, uh, you know, you've got some, some uh, antifreeze in there and then uh, and then I'd probably go ahead and fog this. I ran the uh, or antifreeze through yesterday and couldn't get the spark plugs in time. So they came in today. So I'm gonna show you the spark plugs and uh, it's super simple. Uh, I don't know why you pay someone to do it uh, when you can do it yourself in probably less than an hour, as long as you got all the stuff ready to go. You will need a um, spark plug wrench. It's got a little rubber grommet in it and a 10 mil, uh, socket as well and uh phillips or flathead for these but i mean three tools pretty simple uh this is the fogging oil i got i got at walmart it's like three bucks so all right let's get to it so that comes off and then these are the coil packs you got four of them, so eight bolts total, 10 mil. Uh, run these bolts out and then pop these out. I just kind of flop them over. And then the spark plugs are right underneath that. All right, as you can see, I got the coil packs off. Uh, spark plugs need to come out. And then I'm going to check the gap, which is the distance between uh, the electrode and the little metal uh, tong on the spark plug and uh, just make sure they're similar 99% uh, of the time I don't have to gap anything but it's always good to double check all right and that's gonna be it for now all right and real quick uh, the reason you want a spark plug socket I don't know if you can see that it's got a little rubber grommet yeah, uh, when you go down it lifts the spark plug up with it uh, if you don't have one uh, let's see what size is this because there's I don't know I've got two different sizes. This is five eighths. Uh, I think there's a smaller one that I have too, uh, but five eighths worked on this. Uh, if you don't have that socket with the little rubber grommet, you can use uh, the coil pack, dip it down and you'll feel it click and then you can lift it up, but you gotta obviously unspin it first. Um, so uh, that's a, a little bit of a trick you can do. Uh, now I'm just gonna take I've got these little gap gauges. They're pretty old-school I think the new ones are just round with like a little uh, increasing gauge on it um, So I'm just gonna gap uh, the new plugs and these are the old plugs put the new plugs in and it's just the reverse of what it was before I hope this guy uh, hope this video helped you guys and uh, You know like comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh, see you guys out on the water Alright, there she is, all back together. Now we just gotta shove her in the garage.